All right, and the last thing we're going to do is we're going to insert this text. Now it'll just say text. So what you want to do is just like with the cube, when we had the cube and we had all this information that showed up. Well, it's a little different. I feel like there was, oh, because now it's grouped. Um, when you had a cube, you have all this information that shows up. We don't really, typically we don't use it and kind of gets in the way. But with text, you actually do want to click that, especially because if you want to write something, you don't usually want to write the word text. You want to write actual words. You know, if you write tree, then tr then it changes to that word. So we're going to write PLTW. And maybe we'll change the size of it right now. Now that you've, you've written PLTW, you can kind of send it back up again. It's 82 by 19. You can make it 100 by 25. And give it a height of 15. OK, uh, now we're going to rotate. So you see what these arrows are doing. Uh, when I hover over the arrow, you'll see that a circle shows up around the word. So if you click and hold the arrow and you move around and you keep your mouse inside the circle, you'll notice it's take it's making these big jumps. Like it, it says 90 degrees, 67.5, this is 45. So it actually jumps by 22.5 degrees if you keep your mouse on the inside. I recommend staying on the inside for the most part. If you keep your mouse on the outside, now it goes by 1 degree. So if you want to make like these little micro changes, you do it on the outside. And if you want to do big jumps, which we typically do, because a lot of times you're really just going to be rotating something like 90 degrees. So instead of like precisely trying to get to 90 and, and guessing, you can just do four big jumps and you see it'll say 90 degrees and you're good. But not only can you spin it like this way, but you can spin it this way. And what we're going to use is we're going to use this one. We're going to spin it 90 degrees this way so that the name stands up. Now, when you stand it up like that, though, you'll notice that part of it is underneath the plate, and we don't want that. We want everything to be sitting perfectly on the plate. So when you pull, you're going to pull it up with that black triangle, and you want the number on the right to say zero. Okay, so you're pretty much done now. What you want to do is you want to bring in the tree and bring in that box that you made. And you can rotate. In this case, I actually will use the rotate um, on the outside so I can be a little bit more nuanced with it. And you're just going to get the, the box kind of in focus. And you just want to bring everything close to one another. And then you want to get a good zoom so you can see everything. And then you can take a screenshot of this. And when you take a screenshot, I'd like you to have um, your name, the name of the build in the screenshot. So something like this, and then in like this range would be perfect. Okay. Great work.